Kia ora, good evening. Southern Police have released the name of the man killed in an incident near Lumsden on Wednesday. He was 53-year-old Gary William Vorkamp of Invercargill. Mr Vorkamp worked for South Roads and it's understood he fell from the cab and then under the still moving grader he was driving. Police, the Serious Crash Unit and members of WorkSafe New Zealand attended the incident scene and police said yesterday they were, no, they were not sure how Mr Vorkamp passed away. Police say the investigation of the incident is ongoing and the death has been referred to the coroner. Winners of the Southern Institute of Technology Startup Week hope to bring a little singing and culture into the homes of Invercargill residents. Startup Week is a competitive environment where students explore and develop business opportunities. Sharon Rees has more. Mobile Karaoke TV was the winning business idea for SIT's Startup Week. The Diploma in Business Enterprise students had strict requirements to follow in order to create the idea for a business in Invercargill. This team's concept is based on entertainment through karaoke TV, which would bring a listing of multicultural music and songs directly to your door. When I was in China, I used to go to KTV bars a lot. I like singing very much. But when I come, in, come to Invercargo, I try to uh, find such a place. I just couldn't find it. Well, I thought people here must have lost a lot, a lot of fun. Why there's no KTV, KTV bars here? Yeah, unbelievable. So when our tutor Eric asked us to think about a business idea, um, you know, I really miss this kind of culture. So the idea came, to, came into my mind just naturally. Coming up with a winning business idea wasn't quite as easy as the team had expected. On the first day, we thought it was an easy task. The second day, we had a trial, we failed. Then we felt very upset, very stressful. As a group leader, I went to Eric and Peter for help. And they gave us uh, some very precious suggestions, um, which made us raise from the bottom to the top. They, they needed to get out of there and, and think about uh, how we could do things differently. So they were pretty much uh, the old business school. That was the difference. That, that was the most difficult to ch challenge their thinking. Despite a rocky start to the week, the team managed to pull together a winning idea, impressing all three of the judges. They like this idea simply because of the culture. I think Kiwis like the culture, like the new food, and this was like bringing, bringing something and not uh, tried before. Karaoke TV is just one of many business ideas coming out of Invercargill's SIT. Sharon Rees, South Today News. Children's charity Pillars hopes to break barriers this week in support of the 20,000 Kiwi kids affected by having a parent in prison. Breaking the barriers is the theme for this year's Children of Prisoners Week. The charity hopes to spread awareness of the impact having a parent in jail has on children in New Zealand. Invercargill Prison will host a day of family activities on Sunday at the newly established Activity Centre to provide families with a chance to bond. Pillars says maintaining relationships was vital for both children and parents in prison in regards to re-offending and reducing the likelihood of children turning to crime. Invercargill Middle School students were dressed to the nines last night at a red carpet event to present the media madness they've created this term. The term has been a learning curve for both students and teachers alike as middle school delved into a world of movie making, ebooks, and photo manipulation. The school held a red carpet event last night at the Invercargill Workingmen's Club to show family and friends the end result of their creations. Assistant Principal Louise Dixon says the event, run entirely by a group of Year 6 students, was party central and commended the children's hard work. Well done, kids. Stay with us. After the break, we catch up with ex Silver Fern and motivational speaker Marg Foster. Welcome back. 
In the South, in the role of Breast Cancer Foundation Ambassador, former assistant coach of the Southern Steel netball team and cancer survivor Marg Foster says she's finally found her niche. Marg is now running a successful netball academy that takes her around the world, sharing not only physical skills training but also mental. Having been, um, been through breast cancer experience myself, um, I used all of my sporting um, mental strategies that um, were parted on to me when I was in the New Zealand team to help me to get through um, my experience and I guess the biggest one for me was to be about living in the moment and staying in the now um, and often you know when you've been diagnosed with cancer um, you know the first thing you go to is you're gonna die well yes we are gonna die one day but it's not today it's like okay what what's how's it gonna affect me right now right today and what can I be doing about it for me and, and as the ambassador um, I feel it's quite important from a, from a woman's perspective to help others and if I can give um, strategies that um, have worked for me and, and give them to other um, women that, and, and men that are experiencing the same situation and being able to help them out would be brilliant. So like I gave like a, um, I always talk about having the band on your on your wrist and and ensuring that you know you're keeping your um, thoughts really positive and and just giving yourself a bit of a um, bit of a uh, bit of a bang like a flick if you know that you're having a negative comment um, you know also about you know filling your mind up with um, with flowers rather than weeds and like look you're going to have weeds we've got weeds in our garden but it's like how many weeds do we have do we have more weeds than we do, do we have flowers and um, being able to challenge yourself in that respect of, of ensuring that you've got flowers lots of flowers growing in your mind. How, how, how highly do you rate having a good mental healthy attitude uh, towards overcoming these sorts of obstacles that come into our life as opposed to the physical side of it? I think it's absolutely critical like to the power of the mind is just so phenomenal and you know like what you feed your brain is, is what you receive so you know ensuring that that it's all really real good stuff real good stuff I, I would have to say that that for me mentally is uh, is probably the biggest thing that I've had to overcome and I think um, that, that that to me is all part of it. Let's talk about business very quickly you, you're moving into business so you've got a couple that are going now and, and there's a fair bit of sharing that information with younger people involved in that too. Yeah absolutely I, I love my um, business and it's motivations with the NZ at the end and we've got a, like a netball school, a netball academy um, we run a high performance program at St Andrews College with junior and senior netball academy, we've got a learn to swim school, we've got a motivations play just starting up and that's for like little early childhood um, kiddies and um, we've also got our mentoring program so um, I think for, for us it's just um, me personally it's about um, empowering and inspiring youth and I love being in that I just really like you know if you ever had a job that you love I just really I, I've really found my my niche and and being able to um, help others and particular young um, young people get through in their lives and you know I've just finished my flagship academy last week and the feedback um, and the amount of presence and um, that I got I was just so humbled it was pretty you know it's pretty cool stuff Taking to the stage for their annual performance in Invercargill last night were pupils from Windsor North Primary School. A capacity crowd at the Civic Theatre were treated to a New Zealand history lesson in this original production. Each class has been studying an aspect or era of history through the decades and those topics became the basis for the show. The full school of 308 pupils reenacted Captain Cook's arrival, the dairy boom, the Rainbow Warrior bombing, the Christchurch earthquake, the Second World War and more. Slice of Heaven was formed to meet the arts curriculum with a dance genre and was choreographed by teachers at the school. Hands were very busy at the Invercargill Public Library yesterday learning the traditional craft of lace bobbin making. Bobbin lace evolved from braid making in the 16th century and experts were on hand yesterday to show how the traditional craft is done. Every month the library holds a craft noon and have previously held pottery and scrapbooking events for locals to enjoy. The library provides materials and participants can take part and learn a new craft for free with some expert tuition. 
And that's all from the news desk this week. Don't forget to put your clocks forward for daylight savings tomorrow night. We'll leave you now with some of the images that told the stories this week. From the news team, good night. Draw.